but I would question that it's actually freestyle. I think in your back pocket you have a whole load of phrases and uh, words that you know already rhyme, because you've done it many times. When is it freestyle and when is it not? I mean, I obviously grew up thinking freestyle was, was it improvised off the top of the head. And that always seemed really difficult when I was little and it really inspired me. What makes it so different from writing is that writing is over editing, over analysis, what's the perfect way to phrase it, whatever else. Freestyle is just, let's, let's see who I am, let's see what happens. A popular character. Uh, Hitler! Alright, uh, how's, how's Hitler feeling, you guys? I like that messy, Hitler's feeling messy. All right, so why is Hitler feeling messy, you guys? He joined! Mag magic mushrooms, of course. <laughs> oh, Scheiser. Oh, Scheiser. What? What's going on? Yeah, my name is Hitler. I'm just eating the mushrooms, feeling shitter. Mate, this is insane, I'm a casualty in my secret garden party or Glastonbury. Man, let me tell you what I do. Now I'm on shrooms, I no longer hate Jews. All I want to do is bring love. Every religion of like, how you doing, bruv? I start moving this, I no longer a fascist. Fuck that shit, I'm totally a pacifist. Totally passive, so massive. Make some noise for this beatbox kid. Yo, here we go. It feels like free falling, you know, being in one of those wingsuits. I definitely get that feeling of air, you know what I mean, of like jumping into it and just not knowing where I'm going to land. It's rolling a train across a bridge that you're building as, as the train is going. Try and shut my brain off and to try and think without thinking. Just having faith in yourself and the outcomes and not caring if you fuck up either, really. We, the poets, are going to be suggesting the themes. The Atlantic Ocean. Yeah, that's it, because as far as I'm scoping, come and take a plunge in the Atlantic Ocean. Yo, and that's it, I've got a heart on, I love the fucking sea and the octopus's garden. Icebergs. Yo. I spent the melting, we need to deal with it Cause the fact is all the polar bears are saying this is so shit So we all got the global warming and we are ignoring the ice cream that are going down The whole world is fucking morphing <laughs> What'd you say there? Halloumi maybe Halloumi, what do you do to me? I like halloumi, mixture with the blue cheese I like to mix it up, put it in the frying pan Then I get it in my stomach, fuck no I'm blind <laughs> I just find I'm messing about constantly and experimenting and constantly just trying things out freestyling. But what I learned from freestyling that I, that I transferred to art was to stop drawing with pencils, have happy accidents and fix your mistakes as you go on and just to have faith in your own and just to jump into the void basically. Yo, I'm gonna get pensive and I'm gonna draw a picture just to push down the pen this. Gonna write some things, this one will be more expensive because I'm at Trevi and every bit was envious. Excuse me, yeah my brother has an aperture. When you're doing the sketch, please do it for the camera. Yo, quickly, yo, it's called recorded it so. I'm drawing a nose and this is it, more of it goes. Done one nostril, done the nostril. Now I've got to do the mouth while I use my mouth. Impossible. But still, if I use a quick ear to one side, then I can do it. Cause this is it. It's onker rhymes, yo. So that's it. The pen is my concubine, and that's it. I can conquer in time. Cause the charity's mine. But this is it. It's a drawing I have done, and I'm an embarrassing guy. I can get this done drawing in a light blue because it doesn't matter. It might not look like you, but let's pretend it is. I really love the enthusiasm between freestylers. That seems to be a worldwide thing, you know, whether it's in France or even Vietnam and there's people freestyling at me in completely different languages. Because you learn a lot by freestyling with all different sorts of people. They're all pulling off different tricks. They emphasize different aspects and skills. Really healthy to have all these competing styles. Some people are double time, some people from a grime background, some people from a reggae background even though, do you know what I mean? Wordplay from these people, the kind of battle skills. I think everyone's got something to learn from each other if they listen. Whether that be emotional or rhythmic or even rhyme words. It's sort of that chance to learn off each other and build and just the, the, the energies it can get to. you got this level being raised as it, as it goes around, around the circle. And you're only the best at for a certain amount of time, that one-upmanship. You know, as soon as that dude ran the, the four-minute mile, 
people running the four minute mile and the next year after that, suddenly it was doable, you know? It's sad I can't use both hands at the same time But I was just making the shape of a canine There it is, it's getting pissed off Cause you're invading this parking lot Over there, rip, rip, a barking dog uh, This is a fist I know it's not very good shadow pudgery But kids can get hit Yo, it's, it's the way it comes through uh, And synthesis with why I do this Wow, well, look, it's fingertips uh, That was a fist this is an insult. Across the world, it's a universal symbol. People can catch it, no matter what part of the planet that you inhabit, it's all part of the language. Yo, don't fucking stick that at Heinz. Uh, you'll get the victory sign. Uh, oh, flipping times. Yo, uh, the fuck gave it away. Doesn't matter, because the hand is on the stage here today. Your victory sign, I tell you, it's harmless. You know your victory sign came from the French archers. You ever heard of that? They have two fingers to sleep. Do the English, true, bring it. Yo, if I didn't have this hand on the mic, I'd do the perfect blood hand sign, but it takes two hands, right? So I gotta watch out what I'm doing, keep it fucking non sweat like hand dry. Right, it's gonna get back in the house. Have you ever met my hand? Cause this geezer in a scouse, it's in a ridiculous place, mate, and he shoots a bow and arrow. Honestly, mate, he's gonna realize your bone marrow. What the hell is this? A dog or maybe some kind of weird chicken? Either way, he just wants to get down all the way into the kitchen. Check him out. And now it talks a little pop. What is that with the shadow puppetry that you're all talking poppycock? Mate, I'm all the way back into the flat. And it's looking like a wave, and now it's looking like the hand, and now it's split like the high five. Here comes my rhyme. The scouts are back again, saying it with this bad vibe. Yo, now the posh chicken coming in again. Fuck off, mate, cause you're the twice, you'll never be my friend. This is a crazy personality complex I'm going through. What the hell is up with this hand, brother? I'm exploding, dude. I think most of my best friends I know through freestyling um, and, and I really know people very well through freestyling as well. When you kind of learn someone's kind of their vocabulary and their go-to words and you know their state of mind. Often people won't say what they really mean in everyday life because there's so many pressures everywhere so um, there's this sense that you've got to be meeting the protocol in one way or another. When people start to free, um, suddenly the filters come off. It's braver these days because everyone seems to be so much more comfortable in the digital world and framing their words very carefully and editing what they're saying online. Whereas freestyle is like, you don't even know what you're going to say and you just end up going into a, a place like the opposite end of the spectrum. You know, that's the whole reason why people express themselves in therapy is because they're trying to explain something that they've not even conceived yet. I think at first it's quite easy to say stupid things, make yourself sound stupid and make yourself look like a dick uh, or just lie. But the longer you do it, it's really hard to not tell the truth, I think. I think it becomes a really uh, honest mechanism. You'll suddenly hear about their childhood, you'll hear about their feelings um, towards their comrades. I mean, just even this, this group is people who rap about their autism and disabilities. We work with homeless young people. We work with um, travellers from the traveller community, young offenders. Some people quite posh. Some people, people who are, you know, are going to uni and quite high achieving. And also we've got a lot of um, you know, lesbian rappers are getting involved. Female rappers are killing it in Brighton at the moment. Um, all, all walks of life. Whenever you've got a mic in your hand, that mic is not yours. If someone's in the crowd and they see you with that mic and they feel like they've got some words to say to you, then it's their right to take that mic and to burn you with it. So you watch young people's vocabularies improve because they're getting competitive with it. They're trying to have a bigger list of, of, of multi-syllable words. Uh, they're finding out about weird pieces of science and history and of gods and whatever that they can throw in there. Because they think of a word that rhymes, but then they're backtracking to make sure that they're getting the reference right, um, which is really healthy, really healthy. So you find people are, are kind of teaching themselves, definitely. I think the social skills as well. The confidence to jump into a site where there are older people there and you are in public and people are probably judging you. A competition which might seem like the most cutting and 
most traumatic of situations is actually a collaboration. If you share that kind of experience, you kind of get quite close in a weird way. You're going to hate each other beforehand, but once it's actually happened, you, you know, there's a bit of respect there. Passes the hands after a master class, leave your body in the plaster cast. This is it, we're just having a stab in the dark. Yeah, whatever happens, it's the patterns that embark with the way we can do it, wrapping up our art in the front of the wall of words. I serve up the order of striking up a wall. No, this is it, we're all curved off the fucking trajectory. What we get is just coming through. Last week it was Chester Pete. What I look for in MCs is someone that makes me feel like they're taking a risk. People just just come up with stuff that I know it wouldn't be in my vocabulary and I wouldn't think of that and I wouldn't even have friends who would say stuff like that. So originality is, is everything I think. When I see a freestyler just, just lose themselves and almost have an epiphany there have some sort of channeling, some medium trance there on stage in front of the crowd. And despite all that scrutiny, um, still find that inner peace and that point of focus. For future freestylers, just jump straight in the deep end, really. Let yourself learn as you go. Make the mistake and carry on, you know? Don't know when you're beaten. If you believe it when other people tell you're beat and then you're fucked. Sometimes I feel I'm not in the mood or I could do with a beer before I do that. There's a million excuses you can give and I think never let that shit get in the way and just throw yourself in there. Put the pressure on everyone else, I think. As much as you can, don't have a line prepared. Go off the last person's line. And I don't mean just even the line, I mean the last word. And just use that as your whole start point. It just keeps it fresh and it stops you thinking too much about what you're going to say next. I think that's a bit of a curse if, you, if someone's rapping for a long time and they say something, you're like, if the, I've got a good line. <laughs> and then you've forgotten to listen to what they just said, which is relevant for when you come in, do you know what I mean? And you don't want to go, like five minutes ago, you said <laughs> onions and check this out. React to the world around you. If you've got all these sounds all around you, I can hear my computer right now. I can see maybe about a thousand different colors from all the records on my shelves over there all lights reflecting, refracting everywhere. Um, all the different functions that these um, objects have in front of me. And then the philosophical implications, all the stuff inside your own head. The way all of these things connect to each other, they're all doors that open to other things. Like over here, I got a keyboard, it's black and white, just like um, the truth is. It's made of major and minor keys, happiness and, and sadness. Keyboard also rhymes with a bunch of things, like seashore, eeyore. So the rhymes will take you on a journey in yourself, but I would say focus on the content. Just who the hell are you, but who are you? Freestyle it to me. You don't have to be tough. If you are, freestyle it to me. If you're geeky and goofy as fuck, like freestyle it to me. Like who are you? Um, so I think honest, honesty is, is my number one thing. Number two, I'd say is just just like bravery as well. You know, just real bravery. Just just throw throw some things out there. You know, some talking points. I always find it funny that phrase. Know your limits. So I'm like, nah. Like you don't know it and. As soon as you think you know them, you make yourself brittle. You know, it's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna run through no man's land, terror incognita, screaming, and I wanna, I wanna find where the dragons live. You know. Thank you.